Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And the reason I'm currently on my bed right now is because I guess I'm slowly drifting away from being slightly manic. So um, I guess the energy is slowly departing and I'm becoming increasingly lazy. Hopefully this doesn't mean that I'll stop uploading, uploading videos or being social, but I'm too lazy to get off my bed at the moment. So I'm probably just going to be talking on my bed but anyways are you guys ready for some rope fuel because i certainly am um i'm just kidding please don't rope if you watch this and it makes you depressed but today i'm gonna be talking about an observation that i made about myself uh or not an observation but just something that i've been thinking about when i'm you know just lying in bed or in the shower and you know that's basically that uh well it has to do with my age and Let's just say sometime within three months or let's just say five months from now or before now. So like maybe like in a 10 month uh, sort of like range from this current moment, uh, I may have already or will turn 25. This is in an is this is an indisputable fact. This is this is science. I'm fucking retarded. And um, yeah, so. I'll, I'm 25 for all intents and purposes. And what does this mean? Well, a lot of you might have heard uh, from video, from a video, from someone, from sort of, uh, fuck, from some sort of speaker or some, you know, I don't know, maybe you've learned about this in some psychology 100 course or, um, you know, basically the, this idea that as you, as you grow older, you know, there's a certain threshold where eventually your brain and your body stop developing. You stop growing as a person, you know, There's um, and you start to basically decay. And this threshold seems to be the age of 25. How true, th how true is this? Um, you know, how much of this is actually backed by research? I have no idea, but this is what you hear all the time. So let's just say the age is 25, the age at which you start dying. So after 25, you start dying, but until because of this sort of threshold that uh, has been set, you know, a lot of people then go on to say that you know, twenty five is you know the time at which you know you just finished developing and you're still not uh, you know you still haven't hit this rapid you know this rapid accelerated rate of decay which happens when you start to hit your your fifties and you know you still have your whole life ahead of you. And, you know, although you're not as plastic uh, as you were when you were a teenager, you know, hopefully by this time you would have developed a lot of skills and made a lot of connections and basically, you know, got your uh, life enough, got your life together enough that you're basically able to, you know, make the most of all the advantages that are currently in front of you and that you should, um, you should, uh, you should basically, you know, yeah, be able to, you know, cope with reality. And yeah, so here I am, guys. I am comfy neat and I'm 25 and in the fucking prime of my life. So let's see what, you know, what I should be doing, you know, at the prime of my life. This is what I've been thinking, basically. Um, As someone in the prime of my life, you know, I should be, I should have a steady income by now. I should, you know, have a job that, you know, pays me, you know, not a super high income per se, because there's a lot of room to grow at your average, you know, let's just say global corp job where, you know, you know, which is, you know, where there's so much uh, upward mobility in your, in your, in your job that you can basically go from your average, you know, desk wage slave to some sort of manager and eventually, you know, maybe some whatever, I don't know what the terms are, technical officer. And yeah, I should have some sort of job with up with a lot of upward mobility because, well, why do I deserve this job? Because I should have, you know, completed university. I should have, you know, completed my undergraduate, at least in a STEM field and, you know, maybe got on to, you know, do my master's. You know, maybe I would be just finishing my master's program at this moment or maybe I would already be, you know, one or two years into some position that, you know, is pretty decent, that pays decently, that allows me to afford 
a sort of, you know, not a shithole $400 cardboard box in the middle of some sort of skid row neighborhood nearby me, but, you know, a a passable one bedroom apartment in a decent neighborhood. And I should be, yeah, I should be, you know, be able to afford that. I should be, be able to afford groceries, food, and all that stuff, all that great stuff that is afforded to us by this wonderful system called late stage capitalism. And I'm not hating on capitalism, by the way. Um, I have a lot to say about capitalism, which I will talk about in another video, like I always do. But um, yeah, I think I'm talking about late stage capitalism specifically. And yeah, all this wonderful stuff I should what else should I have achieved by 25? I should, you know, hopefully have developed, you know, a lot of skills because, you know, they tell you as a teenager, you should pick a hobby. And uh, I actually did pick a hobby, um, fucking playing video games and watching YouTube. But ideally, it should have been a hobby that was, you know, somewhat productive that maybe could have allowed me to at least make it a career in the future. Like, you know, learning a musical instrument using, you know, maybe honing my voice maybe my singing voice would be a lot better even uh, if i had actually practiced pretty consistently you know it could have been working out because you know genetically speaking um you know i don't have the worst genetics for bodybuilding maybe i could have become some sort of fitness influencer um or some sort of personal trainer because uh if i'd actually you know worked out consistently from the time if i had actually continued working out from you know university if i hadn't stopped if i hadn't injured my back by lifting like a fucking idiot lifting with a shitty form then you know maybe i could have actually you know gotten a six pack by now um being extremely lit become have become extremely ripped you know if you watch the recent logan paul and mayweather uh Mayweather, uh, you know, face off and weigh in. Um, honestly, I could have had a physique exactly like theirs. Um, maybe I could have been a martial artist because if I'd actually picked that up earlier and been consistent at it. Uh, but um, as for now, all I do is really just watch anime and it's, it's pretty lit. I'm not going to lie. I like it. You know, it's not for everybody, but I like it. But yeah, what else? Uh, romance i by now you know people expect you to at my age 25 to at least have been in maybe at least two or three relationships one would be a little bit strange but you know maybe it was if it was something long term then it would be acceptable uh by this point i should have at least had you know a good amount of experience having cereal as the great daniel lord puts it um cereal and i should you know have you know developed at least some sort of a decent level of emotional intelligence where i'm able to you know i guess communicate properly with people and you know have you know be able to maintain a steady relationship at the at least that's what all the blue pill people say which i think is true to an extent depending on the person and i think and um by this point, I should have, um, yeah, I should have, you know, been on, in at least, yeah, a few relationships, and I, I should also have friends. I should, you know, during my time in university, I ideally should have, uh, you know, made a bunch of acquaintances, and you know, of those hundreds of acquaintances that I've made through networking and going to parties, and you know, frat parties, house parties party this party that the club um meeting people in the library fucking talking to random people by this point of those hundreds of acquaintances i sh I'm, i i should have made uh i should have you know converted maybe 50 of them 50 to 100 of them into friends not all of them close but all those friends maybe uh Maybe a handful of them would have eventually stuck with me over time. Maybe we just all somehow ended up in the same city. And, you know, maybe I could have also made friends at my hypothetical job. And, you know, 
we all get together and hang out and this would form my really close knit circle of friends, my social circle. Uh, but instead, I literally have no real life friends. You know, I have people that I talk to on Discord who are my online friends and the people who comment on my YouTube channel, who I guess I appreciate, but they are in no way a substitute for real life friends. And I've said this before, uh, I hope this doesn't bother anybody, but I feel like everybody knows this at this point. It's not the same as having real life friends. Uh, you know, I should have a healthy social life and, you know, either with my girlfriend or my friends be participating in a lot of normie activities where I go out and, you know, watch movies, uh, eat out at restaurants, um, and play fucking basketball and lift weights at the gym with, you know, having lifting buddies and all sorts of things. And, um, yeah, and be living the sort of, you know, a normie, you know, yuppie lifestyle, you know, the, the young Asian professional lifestyle, given that I'm Asian, you know, I feel like that's expected of me to, to be this sort of, you know, put together person that's able to, you know, at 25, it's true that a lot of Asians have their shit together, which, uh, you know, makes it infinitely worse for me. Um, and uh, what else? I should be, what else? I don't know. If you guys think that I missed anything that I should be doing at 25, you know, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I think I mentioned jobs and, and jobs, relationships, friendships. Um, you know, having my own place, I think I already mentioned that, you know, I should have a decent wardrobe already, a nice collection of clothes that I sort of, you know, pay for with my own money, uh, that will allow me to fit into, slot into any sort of social situation, be it a casual one, you know, the gym, um, lounging and lounging around at a friend's home or, you know, be able to party at the club with business, casual business attire, neckties and shit, dress shirts that are well ironed, ironing, I should have an ironing board that I know how to use. I should have, you know, my own car, which I actually don't have. Um, I get to share the car that my parents own, that I, I get to, uh, I guess, drive the different cars, the two cars that my parents own, but, you know, the lease or not the ownership isn't under me or the lease uh, for one of them. Um, and yeah, instead, yeah, I don't own shit. Uh, I should have a driver's license, which I actually don't have, even though I can drive, but uh, I, I don't drive enough. I don't drive proper enough to pass a test, you know, the driving test. At least that's what happened last time. So I guess we'll see what happens, you know, a month from now when my next test is scheduled. And um, yeah, so whoop de doo. I'm comfy neat. I'm at the prime of my life and I'm, you know, I'm living the life in my comfy, neat room. Um, you know, watching anime and YouTube and, you know, shit posting on Discord when I'm not feeling, you know, when I'm actually have the willpower to get online and socialize. And, um, you know, I take supplements. I work out sometimes. Um, I play guitar while I watch anime and I, I make YouTube videos. I'm a social media influencer slash marketer slash entrepreneur, you know, marketing myself as a highly competent public speaker who is capable of producing high quality, uh, marketable content for big and small businesses. See, I can, I can fucking play the game if I want to. I'm just fucking kidding. I'm actually completely retarded. And what else? Uh, I can cook. That's something. I can cook my own food so I don't have to, you know, spend, waste money on fucking McDonald's, which is actually complete garbage food for the price you're paying, especially in Canada where fast food is overpriced. You know, maybe I'm just saying Canada to throw off all the doctors. Maybe I actually live in the States, but who knows? Um, what else? Yeah, that's basically the sum of my achievements. Um, I had good grades in high school. Woo, whoop de doo look at me. I'm fucking, I'm fucking accomplished. I had fucking good grades in high school. I'm a fucking beast. <laughs>
holy shit, this is fucking great. I'm a well-accomplished, well-adjusted, totally not mentally ill, 25-year-old. And what can I say? I'm living the dream. I'm living the life. And yeah, uh, it's great. But to be honest, let's sort of go back to reality a bit. You know, I am sort of being, I'm being half serious and half ironic when I say a lot of this shit. And uh, God, I have fucking TMJ from, I don't know, bad facial symmetry. I don't know, not mewing enough, but um, yeah. Realistically, maybe I am being a bit too hard on myself. Maybe a lot of these sort of things that I should be doing, these sort of expectations are really just, you know, arbitrary or they're not really arbitrary. I wouldn't say they're arbitrary. I'd say, you know, they're placed upon us by society. And, you know, maybe it is the case that society knows what's right for us because, well, look at me. Um, I'm currently outside the system. I currently don't conform to any of these beliefs and ideals about what a person should be and what they should be doing. And here I am, um, I am pretty unaccomplished at a person, but then it sort of goes back to this idea that the reason I'm saying that I'm unaccomplished as a person is because I'm really buying into this whole sort of, um, all these expectations that were placed upon us by society in the first place. I'm not sure if that even made any sense, but yeah. And there's also the fact that a lot of these expectations are, you know, I'm sure a lot of it is to do with the fact that, you know, you have, you know, politicians, corporations, uh, people who are above us, who basically have a vested interest in keeping us um, in the system. And, you know, maybe the system, you know, it's not perfect. Maybe, you know, it has a lot can be done to improve it. But, you know, maybe the system actually is helpful. Maybe some people actually benefit from the system. Who am I to say? Uh, but there is certainly uh, there are certainly people out there who have a vested interest interest in keeping us in the system because you know it's a way that we it's a way for us to uh, to get people to generate labor to generate actual pro, uh, you know products that you know I guess people higher up from can uh, you know benefit from and obviously we all benefit from benefit from that too and uh, who am I to say that any of that's wrong I'm really not in a position, you know, IQ wise or uh, research wise or, you know, cognitively to say that any of that's actually wrong. Um, but that is the case that, you know, we are being sold this sort of lifestyle. And along with this, along with these expectations, you know, comes profit for, you know, people from all, all strata of society, be it the person who's directly above us or, you know, our manager to our, the manager of our manager, the person who owns the company, the shareholders, you know, politicians and all that. Maybe, you know, maybe they're exploiting this, but maybe it's maybe exploiting, you know, the term exploitation is a little bit, you know, too cynical. Maybe this is just some sort of system that um, everybody, uh, everybody, you know, is supposed to contri contribute to. And um, uh, that maybe it's not necessarily bad. Uh, you know, maybe people get what they deserve in life because I'm not exactly Elon Musk and I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not Chang, I'm not Chad, Tyrone, uh, fucking all these people who, I'm not extremely talented as a person. So, you know, maybe I am getting what I deserve out of life and maybe you know, if I just, you know, stop being such a selfish, you know, Peter Pan syndrome child, then maybe I would get my basically, you know, live my lot in life and get what I actually deserve. But I feel I certainly don't feel like that. I feel like personally, I feel like I deserve a lot more. Maybe I'm just being entitled. I don't really know. Um, it's really hard to say at this point. And, you know, who am I to say that being a wagey is worse than being a need? Who am I to say that it's better than being a need? I don't have enough experience and I don't have enough, you know, intelligence to ascertain that. So for the meantime, I choose to stay neat because um, I feel like, you know, at least given the cards that I've been given, it seems to be 
the lesser of you know the two evils and it seems to be it's not bad i certainly live pretty comfortably and i don't necessarily mind it but um yeah i think that's all i have to say in this video and uh because i hit the 20 20 minute mark i'm probably rambling at this point so yeah hopefully you guys you found hopefully you guys found this entertaining um and yeah this is company signing out peace